There ain't no school like the old school. Oh! Good Lord. Legally? <laughs> I've got two I acquired legally. Never said anything about that. Never asked! Didn't come up. Alright. Welcome back. I'm Captain Xavier and I'm joined by... Who are you? Brent Ransom. Brent! Brent is here, along with his brother, his doge, and his mother. Who's the dog? Millie. She, Millie. She likes people. Lovely. Yes. A lovely dog. Alright. What are we doing? What's going on here? We're uh, here to be building a homemade blaster. Old snap yeah. bow style yes. from parts you can get at a hardware store. Never actually built one from scratch. Yeah, it, it's tedious, but the end just the end result is yes. amazing. Okay, so it will rival every caliber <laughs> on the field. It will snap. Okay, so what do we got? We've got this is our plunger tube. Yes. So <laughs> yeah, crazy stuff. We've and, uh, got bits. And pieces that more will bits be, that will become the trigger. We're going super old school here. I yes. love it. I'm very cool. I'm, I'm trying to design a 3D printable thing. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, they've, or you know, yeah. cut it out of Delrin or mill it out of aluminum or. But but this is stuff you can literally get at a hardware store and. Everything except for the K26. Yes. Luckily, we have piles of it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You can get it from out of darts. That's the best place. Or get it straight from McMaster Car. Yeah. Okay. So what's step one? What are we doing? <sighs> what are we doing? We have instructions. Instructions. Item one.
Two hundred. Two hundred. And we, uh, pretty sure we blew the head off and stuck the phone in the neck. <laughs> yeah. I think the barrel's a bit too long, so if you turn I it, think the barrel is exactly the right length. <laughs> <laughs> so the first shot came in at 261. <laughs> that will do. <laughs> As was established, it has basically a perfect seal. I think the only thing, we're losing some of it because there's still writing here, so I'm not getting a solid seal against my hand, but... Uh, <laughs> That'll, that'll do. The trigger has got to go. <laughs> That's going to have to get fixed because that is just... We'll design a 3D. I mean, there's, there's jank and then there's jank. Um, there's jank. But the, the simplicity of, like, the, the plunger head... Yes. ...and being able to get a perfect seal with just parts from a hardware store, that is genius. I know this is what they used to do before. Yes. 3D printers took over the whole field. That is really cool. I think, but... Do do you have an estimate of the parts cost? Thirty, like thirty five dollars for everything from the hardware store. Cool. And actually, a bit more because of the spring. Probably. Well, I assume that is that that involves ending up with more material than yes. yes. So which is where I decided to kind of make kits. Yeah. Because you can. When you make one, you have enough to make. <laughs> you have enough to make a whole. enough for an army. So <laughs> really? It's not. Yeah, because things like PVC, I mean, you could buy it by the, the inch, but it, yeah. it gets more expensive. Yeah. So the, I, I believe the price is hopefully between 30 and like 45 yeah. percent, which would be al allow you to break into the. Super whatever. Yeah. Ultra. Super stock, but not ultra stock. Yeah. Yeah. If, for less than. Yeah. You know, the nice thing about strikes. about it is, yeah, you have you know a huge amount of power with that big of a plunger tube, yes. but you can reduce it just by what barrel you use. Yeah. A shorter yeah. barrel is going to get your FPS down. Hey, if you went to a long enough barrel, it would start bringing your FPS back oh, down. Yeah. But then you're like out there with a five foot barrel going, ha ha! <laughs> the friction slows it down. It's perfectly safe. <laughs> And then if you cut the barrel, if you cut the barrel shorter, then it's not as much power. As power. So yeah, exactly. There is always a sweet spot. Yep. You just have to build the barrel that matches your yes. your design. I will. I, I'm going to put half inch thread on mine, so I'll be okay. able to use any of my attachments. So we don't need. You can keep all of all that. Right. More material for you. And we'll start cleaning up this. And then, okay. As with anything homemade, there is a great deal of tinkering to get it exactly the way you want it. Yep. Um, little differences in how you cut things or screwed things in or tapped things or whatever are going to make all sorts of features. But like how you choose to do your handle is entirely up to you. I can think of a number of ways that I'd probably do this differently. Um, this is obviously the bare bones. This is the cheapest you could get probably for something this powerful. Um, but if you wanted to get fancy, obviously you could do metal wrap handles, you could do rail, you could do a much fancier trigger, a different T-pole. Uh, but all of that is going to add cost and is going to require additional tools and, and whatnot. Um, you can do this with pretty much a drill uh, and the right bits. Um, and sheet metal screws. And sheet metal screws, yeah. Yes, sheet metal um, screws. We tapped all of the, the holes, which makes them go in much, much easier. Uh, that isn't necessary, but it, I, I love it. Um, it. It's less likely to strip out than if you're force tapping it with just the thread on the screw. Um, obviously, you could come up with a fancier stock. There's, I mean, you could do all sorts of things with this platform. But as the bare bones, <laughs> that is just ridiculously... <laughs> That's, yeah, that was with an unoptimized barrel firing an old worker dart. Um, very, very cool. Thank you. And then, I'm going to have fun making this mine. <laughs> <laughs> or making another one that's mine and leave this one as it is. I don't know. Just, but this will be fun on the range. It is unfortunately raining. It is damp. Because I'm in the Pacific Northwest in the winter, which means it's damp. 
It will remain damp until it's not damp anymore. So, very cool. Do you have a website, a YouTube channel? Uh, where can people get the build part list? Uh, uh, what do you got for me? What, what uh, me? <laughs> be a, a Google Doc something? Plane! Seems to have gone. Right, well as you can see it is dim and it is damp and I'm running out of daylight but I wanted to get some filming on this thing done, some firing footage because I know you all want it uh, so that I can get this video out tomorrow. This is the completed hardware store snap bow, I think that's what these are called or something similar. It's a completely homemade blaster uh, from parts that you can get at just about any hardware store. Um, you, you just saw me build it. Uh, I have, of course, made it modular. Hello, if you're not familiar with my channel, please look at my collected work. Uh, I like all things modular, so I have given it the normal thread that all of my various barrel attachments take so that I can use any of Iyer's barrel attachments. And we're going to start with the full brass breech here. First we're going to be firing, uh, yeah, Adventure Force short darts and then uh, I think I've got some men guns. Uh, we will see if I can hit anything. I'm guessing no, but I've got some fun stuff to, to test with as well. So, here we go. We're gonna aim for the 50. Aim being a relative term. Am I in frame? I'm beautifully in frame. I think that was high. You're not going to be able to see anything. I can't even see anything. And I'm here. This thing is hitting around 250 FPS. So, uh, the darts have some zing to them. <laughs> I hit it. <laughs> this trigger, this trigger is jank. And it needs some work. I don't know how many rounds I got. I'm not going to get any of these back. While I like that they made them in my colors, my colors don't show up well in the rough. Uh, no idea where that went. The men guns you might be able to see because they're white. Because I know what I'm, I'm about. Okay, here we go, come on. Ah, still think I'm shooting high. All right, let's try the men guns. No, wrong pocket. Put it over here. Stop it. All right. I don't have to worry about vacuum loading because this barrel has um, a rod to, to keep from vacuum loading. So here we go. Hey, I hit it. <laughs> this barrel is not long enough for the amount of power this thing has. As you can see by how much they're fishtailing coming out. Oh, gotta replace that trigger. All right, but I hit it. Oh. Needs more barrel. Needs more barrel. Or a lighter spring. Whoo! That one straightened out eventually. It was a little high. I don't know if you can see these. <laughs> I'm two for four. Let's see if I can beat the average. Come on. No. No, I cannot. All right, so it will fire full length and half length darts. Obviously, you will need to tune the barrel lengths to match the amount of power that you're getting. That's really kind of the trick. Uh, tuning the, the barrel to match both the darts and the power depending on what spring you've put in it and that's just a matter of tinkering there really is no way to know for sure um, you might your build might be slightly different than everybody else's what have you the trick is tinker sort test start with too long and shorten it because you can always shorten it a little bit more you can't make it any longer without replacing the whole thing all right now we have a hammer shot cylinder so five rounds i want to see how well this thing can shotgun five rounds can i hit the 25. Range-wise, yes. Precision, not so much. Uh, but yeah, I could definitely hit a man-sized target at 25 feet, or at least 
you know, scare a man-sized target at 25 feet. That's, that's pretty cool. Let's check out some weirder ammo. You had to know I was gonna put a rocket on this thing. I wanna see how well this thing will fire a demolisher rocket. So this is some random off-brand one, I don't know what, which. Um, I'm gonna aim for 25. 25 is about the range that I would shoot at a shield and we will see how well that turns out. Woo! Well, that had way more power than I expected. Where's that rock? We try again, this time for range. Stop it! I'm trying to film here. Not really, I'm not firing actual explosives. They just happened to go off at the exact moment that thing impacted. How very dare you. You're scaring the children. What lunatic is launching fireworks on the 5th of July, January? Sweird. Sweird, man. Sweird. I hit a tree, so we're gonna try again. It's the darnest thing, I keep hitting trees in this forest. Last one, then we'll move on to something sweirder. Oh, there we go. It's not at least past the 50, but past the 25, it, got, it starts getting kind of inaccurate. Should have brought a Busby. Now I am losing all my daylight. Here we go. Busby rocket. See if it flies any straighter. Would you release, you wretched thing? It does. I very nearly hit the 50. That is fantastic. All right, we're gonna switch barrels real quick before I lose all the light. <laughs> this was in fact the very first barrel I ever made for Ire back in 2012 or whenever I started this mess. So we're gonna see what happens when we fire an arrow. Release, you wretched thing. That flew remarkably straight. Now for the silly stuff. This barrel, the very first barrel that I ever made for Ire is in fact chambered, that's right, for Ultra. So we, we go to fire, so I'm probably gonna vacuum load this thing. Maybe not. Get in there. Here we go, can we hit the 25? Can we get the trigger to release? We cannot hit the 25. Nobody should be surprised by this. I'll try better load, load better. Do not fail me, you failure. Okay, that time I think it vacuum loaded. Hopefully it didn't vacuum load it all the way. 25, here we go. Ah, hit! Ha 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 ha! I am, it's dark, it's damp. Now a sonic one. Aim for the 50, get some scream. They squeak nicely. I like that. They have vacuum tube, they load nicely too. All right, let's go. 50, let's go, 50, 50, 50. No idea where that went, but they scream nicely. Right, I'm out of daylight, I'm also out of ammo, so. Uh, and I have no intention of trying to find it in the dark. Uh, so yeah, all of the links for these guys' stuff will be down in the description. I think they've got a Facebook page and possibly an Etsy shop, I'm not sure. Check out the links, you'll find out. There'll be a thing that'll pop up and go, what are you talking about, you schmuck? Etsy who? Etsy what? Uh, but check them out. They're pretty cool. Thank you for watching.